Gibraltar has never known an election like this one. No one could call it. Even GBC's exit poll cut it right down the middle. It's basically neck and neck. It's uh, too close to call. But it does suggest that the Gibraltar Social Democrats, led by Keith Asopardi, might just clinch this election by the narrowest of margins. Uh, they are on 49.6%, 0.8% ahead of the GSLP Liberals, who are on 48.8%. Robert Bassett, Although it gave the GSD a slim lead, everyone knew the margins were so tight uh, it could swing either way. A new digital counting system brought a new sense of drama and excitement to the night. With real-time statistics on the count, published online and on a giant screen in the Mac Hall patio. For once, no position was guaranteed. People appeared to be splitting their votes. And with the blocks broken, it was all to play for. And all eyes were on the bottom of the table, because with a 9-8 divide, the last candidate past the post would decide the winner. At around 3.30 in the morning, there were only 75 votes between Daniela Tilbury and Sir Joe Bossano. Party supporters held their breaths. But it was not to be. As the morning wore on, Sir Joe pulled away, making the gap insurmountable. By 4.30, the supporters of the alliance were declaring victory. It was a bittersweet moment for Vijay Daryanani, who, after four years as a minister, conceded his parliamentary seat. Um, when you put yourself, when you stand for election, you put yourself in the hands of, of the people, and I respect the electorate. As for Robert Vasquez, he said he was overjoyed at doubling his voter share, saying it was a sign that people wanted a new political system. And I would hope, wish that both parties would look forward to unite Gibraltar because one thing that I think has come forward in today's election is that we are very divided. Over at the top, Liberal Party leader Joseph Garcia came first in the alliance slate, pulling ahead of Fabian Picardo for the first time. It was 6.30 in the morning when the returning officer, Simon Galliano, delivered the election results. Our duly elected members of the parliament. <laughs> Fabian Picardo, once again elected chief, chief minister, minister said the there was no greater privilege. Which becomes now he said this had been a tough election, the but the GSLP Liberals had pulled together as a family and had gotten through it once again. He promised reform, change and transparency. Things will change. Not only will there be five new ministers, it is also true that the way that ministers do things must change and adapt to, and change we will. We will consider even further democratic reform, although we have delivered more democratic reform in the past 12 years than any party in our history. But we are not afraid of changing and delivering more, and we will. Mr. Picardo issued a challenge to the Spanish Premier, Pedro Sanchez. Pedro, it is time now that you too should form a government and that together we should finish the treaty that we started. A disappointed Keith Sopardi offered his thanks to his campaign team, but also gave no clues regarding the leadership of his party into the future. He said although it wasn't enough to win an election, the party had come far. We haven't succeeded, but we've taken it to a position where we have eight opposition MPs and we will do our best for the people of Gibraltar. Given the role that we've been given, we will do a serious and responsible job in the task that the people have given us. 
we will give it our all like we always do in, the, in that role that we've been given. There At the end of it all, four more years of a GSLP Liberal government and a mandate to continue the job they started 12 years ago.